She gets hungry. Hey, we've got Frank with us, as in Sinatra, but it's not Sinatra quite. Frank Simarelli, noted vocalist, you do an evening with Frank, which is a tribute to Frank Sinatra. Great to have you on. Oh, thanks. It's great to be back. I remember <laughs> the last time I was on, you asked me one question, and you never got a chance to say anything the rest of the day. <laughs> you know, I'm a storyteller, you know, an evening with Frank right. is a lot of Sinatra music, but it's storytelling. You know, my, my family says I just like to hear myself talk, but it's not true. I actually like to tell the Sinatra story. Well, I love it. Now, you have an affinity for Frank Sinatra. Yeah. I don't know whether it's because your name is Frank and you have blue eyes or, or whatever, but you've been doing Frank Sinatra singing for a long time. Why? Well, I, he, in the home, you know, we were proud of him. Him, Dean, Vic Damone, Perry Como, we're Italian, you know, yeah. but nothing like Frank. And then, you know, my background is musical theater. Yeah. So I had the privilege of doing the part of Nathan Detroit twice uh, in two different productions of Guys and Dolls, and I found out my voice is, is there. Oh. And being a theater guy, when he passed away in 98, I thought, you know, I'm going to create a one-man show. But, you know, over the years, people want to hear the music. They don't really want to hear the stories. And I've taken a, taken a hiatus, okay. and I've, I've come back and launched Evening with Frank, and, and I'm letting people know right up front, you know, we're going to do a lot of music, but you're going to get a lot of stories. We're going to tell people about the misconceptions, the milestones, and the greatness of the man. And you know what? I like stories. When I go to a concert, I like to hear the stories in the background, the musicians of everything. So I think that's great. Now, you have one coming up at Augie's, and it's tonight. Yeah, tonight. Jilly's West, I like to say. Jilly's West. No, it's Augie's. <laughs> Augie's in Prescott. It's where yeah. the elite meet to eat. And here, and Frank Sinatra. You know? So evening with Frank Sinatra starts at 5.30 at Augie's tonight. Hey, um, I think it would be fun to hear a song. You want us to do a little song for Frank? Oh, you know? every vocalist wants to sing at 9.30 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> you can do this. You can do this. <laughs> Why not? All right, Frank Sinatra, oh, take it away. skin I have got you deep in the heart of me so deep in my heart you're really a part of me I have got you under my skin I have tried so I've tried not to give in I have said to myself for a fan, it ain't gonna go so well. But why should I try to resist when, baby, I know damn well that I've got you under my skin? Sacrifice anything, come what might, for the sake of having you near. Does it hurt you, baby? <laughs> oh, Frank, I'm loving it. That is awesome. That is fab. You know, you actually sound like him. I'm not kidding. Well, uh, you know, of course, I know you've been practicing for a while. How long have you been doing Frank Sinatra? Well, you know, I did Nathan Detroit for so long, you know, right. so, uh, but I started this show, believe it or not, uh, uh, back at Suzy Q's in 2001. Uh, shortly thereafter, I ended up at the Camelback in Paradise Valley. I've gone coast to coast with it. You know, as you know, a number of years, I, I stopped because I started producing the Valentines for Veterans concerts. 
Yeah. And now I've gotten back into it. You know, um, it, it's something I want to do. I also have Swinging with the King. I have to throw out a shout out uh, to all my friends at Advanced Healthcare of Scottsdale. What Ooh. I'm doing, I'm going into the nursing homes and the assisted living centers, and I'm doing a reality orientation show oh, with them. Oh, okay. And the nostalgia brings them back, and, and they just love the Sinatra story. So I want to give a shout out to them as well. Oh, hey, that is good. Well, and you do tell stories now. Yeah. Um, do you have just like a really quick story about Frank Sinatra that gives a people an idea of who yeah, he yeah. was I'll, besides I'll a singer? Real quick, okay, in the early 60s, uh, Las Vegas is a very racist town, fact of the matter. And uh, what do we got? We got two minutes, okay. And uh, Sinatra was headlining at the Sands uh, with the Quincy Jones, excuse me, the Count Basie band. And the young Quincy Jones was the orchestra leader. Sinatra finds out the black musicians had to go through the service entrance. The white musicians went through the front door. Sinatra hated this. He assigned a bodyguard to every member of the Count Basie band, the black musicians, and told them to go through the front door. Called the owner of the Sands and said, if you try to stop them, a number of your employees are going to have broken arms because I told the bodyguards to break their arms. Well, needless to say, they went through the front door, nobody stopped them, and that week, every hotel in Vegas dropped their race barrier, okay. and that's how great Frank Sinatra Good. was. That's just one of the stories of, of, of Sinatra, but we've got a lot. You know, and that's fabulous. And to me, that's fun. I want to know the person behind the music. And you certainly, you know, get that going. So this evening with Frank, again, you've been singing Frank songs, but now it's, and how long is, is the production tonight? Starts well, at we're going to do two sets. So we're going to okay. go 5.30 to about 6.15, and then we'll come back on about 6.30 and wrap it up about, about 7.20, 7.30. You know, there won't be as much story because of the layout and whatnot, but we're going to throw a lot of music. We're going to throw some stories out. If you want to hear some stories, come to Augie's. Jilly's West, where the elite meet the Eaton Prescott. <laughs> I love this. Hey, listen, you know, people are still so entranced. I mean, all these years later, I don't even know how long, how long Frank has been gone, but... They're still entranced with him. Why is that, you think? Well, you know, he bridged four generations and somehow never missed a gap. Well, you know, he, even duets one and duets two he was doing in his 80s uh, with people like, um, you know, Bono and, you know, Rod Stewart. And uh, he passed away in 98. So, it, you know, it's been almost 20 years. Amazing. And um, uh, we're going to be doing a big show on his birthday, December 12th, and uh, of course we'll be celebrating awesome. uh, the, right. you know, the 20 years of his passing next well, year. Well, it's great to feel like we still have Frank with us, you know, and we get to hear the music, we get to hear the stories. Frank Samarelli, great to have you with us. Love uh, you, babe. Again, tonight, 5.30 at Augie's Restaurant, an evening with Sinatra, a tribute to Frank Sinatra. Okay, don't go away. We'll be right back with the Mindful Guru in just a moment. Start spreading the news. Um.